Right now, I am here in the Smart Lounge where you can see there's lots of leather chairs and even charging stations to charge up your phones. And over here, take a look, there's a nice big bar where you can get drinks and snacks. And when you are ready for your train ride, well, you come right through these doors, go down these escalators, and then you can see the high-speed rail right on there. That's where you're gonna hop on and go for a nice, relaxing, comfy ride. Bright Lines Orlando station is unveiled with plenty of fanfare. For those looking for a ride on the high-speed rail, here's what you need to know. First, park in the Terminal C lot at Orlando International Airport. Come in through the south side. Come in through 417. Because that's a seamless connection right here. Now, if you need a ticket, you can buy it online or here at the station kiosk. And once you do have your ticket, well, then you can check your luggage right over there before going through security, which is right behind me. And once you're ready for travel, the new station has everything you need as you wait for your ride. The premium lounge, the Mary Mary bar, the retail area, the smart lounge, leather seats, Wi-Fi, outlets. It's going to be a game changer. Brightline President Patrick Goddard says the high-speed rail goes to West Palm Beach in Miami. $79 for smart from Orlando to Miami, $149 for premium from Orlando to Miami. So it would cost $79 for a train ticket compared to around $25 in gas money one way, depending on your vehicle. Goddard says the trip to Miami takes around three and a half hours on the rail and instead of fighting traffic relax take a nap watch a movie he says prices can vary similar to like an airline or a hotel uh, there's going to be dynamic pricing on certain trains so there's two sections to this train both smart and premium and uh, here I'm in the smart section where the seats are just a little smaller than the premium section but still very comfortable it's a very happy moment for both of us Belinda Ortiz Gergard says her seven-year-old son loves Thomas the train and couldn't resist bringing him on the tour today. I love the trains in, a, in the station. It's so cool. Belinda is part of the Greater Orlando Aviation Authority. She says the rail isn't just for vacations. It will also help boost business. It's individuals coming for meetings, doing business deals in a very convenient way. You don't lose time. Oh, it's just so exciting. Now, Goddard says the first ride starts at 8.30 in the morning, and the last ride arrives back in Orlando at midnight. So you can really spend the day in South Florida without paying for an expensive hotel. And just a reminder, if you drive to OIA, you're going to have to pay the regular parking rates to park your car. And by the way, well, 800 new parking spots are being built just for Brightline customers. Reporting live at OIA, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News.